Yeah. All right, all right, you mugs, listen up. We want to thank you for coming out for dinner tonight. We hope you enjoy it. Not so much that you sleep through this show. Welcome tonight. We're now going to take you for a ride, see? We're going to the year 2260. Now, time travel is possible in 2260. And so it's been a problem ever since it started, this time travel stuff. That's where I come in. I'm Father Time. And welcome to Cosmo's Murder Mystery Tour. <coughs> you see, when I was a little boy, I never had any toy. So, I went back into time and fell in love with Brian. And now, it is up to you to do my final chore. Go to the year 1969 and explore. Everything you had me do makes absolutely zero sense to me. You see, if only you believe, you'll be able to achieve. Say the words into this device. Then the past will be turned into ice. Turn the hand to the forbidden hour. And there we will find a source of power. Okay, what is the forbidden hour? Is that midnight? I can do that. I'm good at that. Did you get what I asked for? Mostly. Well, here is the next door. What is this? What is this article from Noah Birch? Put the headline in Pandora's box. And then time will not be under locks. You must go now to the musician who kills time. Eclipse the poet or handle the final rhyme. Uh, okay. Here's the looking glass to see inside a box of mystery. Use that. As a key to find your destiny. I am missing a box of mystery. This is the Time Travel Enforcement Agency. I'm Captain Justice, here with my partner, Detective Carmen Monroe. You have a warrant for the arrest of a young time traveler named Cosmo. Now open up. She is not here right now. Must be in some other time. Can you please let us in? She's no longer permitted to talk to travel. She must report to the agency at once. May I ask what she has done? Please, if you just let us in, we can then inform you she's caused a rift in time. That's private information. Sorry. Oh, no. Hey, no, that was the baddie confirming. Oh, jeez, okay. The musician kills time. <coughs> Please, if you have any information, just let us in. Oh my god, just go in already. We have a warrant. Okay, we have a warrant. We're coming in. <sighs> You're too late. If you didn't say so much, would you just look for some clues yes. or something? All right, all right. How's this? The musician kills time? Great. Another mystery. 
Lucy doesn't lie. Can't tell time. To, excuse me? What, what time is it? Oh, you know, I've got a show I gotta get to. Um, nice to meet you, but I, I gotta, I really gotta go. Oh, oh, geez, no, 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 oh, yeah, yes, yes. Wait, I mean, what, what year is it? Just, yes. Yeah. The year of love, baby. It's 1969. Just making sure. What? Oh. Why do the lights flicker and fade every time you say that? Oh, Carmen, it's gotta be a time machine. Wait, say those words again. Maybe we can bring her back. The musician kills time. <laughs> 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 ah, 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 what? Ah! Oh, we got you now, time traveler. You are now under arrest. Uh, uh I haven't done anything. I, uh, I'm being great. Nice try, kid. No, we've got you traveling to at least three unwarranted time zones, all right? You've caused a lot of trouble. I was told to do this. Huh. It's part of, it's part of some plan. Okay. Oh, now you're saying you were hired? No, not, not, not really. Sounds phony to me. Take her to the station. I'll question her there. No! You don't understand! He set me up! Okay, save it when we get you back to the station. Come on. No! Come on. No! Council, I'm permitted time travel. Okay? Yeah, you. Yeah, we've convicted you. That's right. Yeah, you've opened up a written time that we have not been able to close yet. Well, okay, really? Are you serious? What, do you, what does that mean? What do you mean? You're being recorded right now, so before you speak. I should really get going right about now. <laughs> you should just cooperate, Cosmo. Besides, you're not going to be able to time travel with both of us here. Okay, I can assure you of that. You're under arrest! Ah! Yes. This is going to keep you oh, in really? one yes. time zone. All right? Who knows what else you did before we were able to track you? I haven't done anything. You have the wrong person. Uh-uh-uh. We have you for two crimes. Unwarranted travel of time and grand theft. What? Are you kidding me? That does not explain why there's a crack. In time. Cosmo, this is you a must serious have, You tracked me instead of someone else. This is a right? serious yes. offense. Hey, we need answers, not excuses, okay? Can I just lock her up for further questions, yeah, please? Take her Simple. Her desk here. You have the wrong person. Look, it's more complicated than that, okay? If we don't fix this, everyone's gonna die. All right? I need to go see Father Tom. Great. I'll keep this one lock up. Oh. I'll keep my eye up. We get to the bottom of this. Come on, let's go. No. Let's go, come on. Let me Trying to solve a mystery. Cool. 
Maybe, maybe I could help you guys. <coughs> Sorry, but I don't think that's a good idea. Yes. This is serious business. We cannot have you on our way, but have you seen a police headquarters nearby? Well, I was here, like, and then some lights, and I, don't know, I saw this, like, girl, and then there was this, like, cop, and he arrested her. I think they went that way. Excellent. Excellent. You must tell us everything you saw. What did they look like? Where were they heading towards? What was the exact location when you saw them? You tell us everything you know. I didn't get the best look, you know. Maybe you should uh, ask someone else. Sherlock. Sherlock, I think our boy here is withholding information. Oh my god. If you are able to provide us with any information, please do so. You know, maybe I should play a song. It always helps me think clearer. Almost we have a lot of questions we need answers to. Yeah. I don't think he's going to help us. Check this one up. I've been so oh, oh, what is that boy talking about? Is that a weapon? He's trying to kill us. Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey. Whoa, you guys are not permitted in these quarters. State your names right now. That's the dude from earlier. That's the one. Sir, sir. Hey. Some sort of officer that can help us? We'll the nearest police station. From the Time Travel Enforcement Agency? I don't think that's who we're looking for. <laughs> this is one of those times where everything goes completely wrong. And too many different time periods cannot coexist. I've got to handle this. Can I not have any more mistakes happen? Whoa, dude! Calm down. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Looking for something, young whoa, man? Whoa, whoa, how, who the hell are you? How, how did you get in here? Oh, nice try, nice try, but nothing can keep me out. <laughs> now, you got a document for me? Wait a minute. I don't even know who the hell you are. You want me to give you something? <laughs> 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 you see this clock right here? Yes. This clock says that you got about two hours until you die. Now, <laughs> I need a document from you. It was in a box. Oh, yeah. hmm. What if I don't give it to you? You don't give me the document? I can't save you. How's that even possible? You give me the document, I'll tell you how. Are, are you God? No, no. I'm Father Time. Now, I need this document from you, and I need it right away. You know what? Father Time. Okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Document. Got it right here. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you. See? <clears throat> I'm going to give you a way to travel to the future. To the time of your death. Now, I can't tell you who. I can't tell you why. But when you get there, maybe you can figure it out. Deal? Deal. What the hell do I do with this? You turned your hands. <laughs> oh man. You turned your hands to midnight. It will take you to the future. Justice will be there. Maybe there you can save yourself. <laughs> oh gosh. So you're saying if I put wait a minute. Father Tom, I had a question. I Father. Sherlock, I am glad to have you here. We could use a few other detectives on this case. Man, I gotta get you up to speed with the rules and regulations of this time, right? Understandable, yes. But what's in line with trying to understand how we were? Well, yeah, in the first place. The same way I was brought here, genius. You were all brought here by a criminal named Cosmo. And she said to be working with someone else. 
There was a clue that I brought to my job. What's it? Did you get that? I think I have it here somewhere, sir. <laughs> Believe me, I wasn't brought here. I flew through sound waves, through vibrations, through the, through this, through this, I don't know. That's impossible. Okay, this might come as a shock to you guys, but you were all brought here through sound waves from See? Cosmos time travel device. I knew it, sound waves. My theory is correct. Your poor singing has nothing to do with this case. Okay. Or bring us here in the first place. Okay. Guys, I'm going to be back in my office, okay? Hey, keep an eye on this one, okay? I mean, you can't figure this one out. You are Sherlock, right? Yes, I can. Who, who, who are you looking for? Are you have to help No. This is an official investigation, okay? This does not include you. And your loud, obnoxious guitar. Fine then. Be gone. I'm gone. I'm going. Come on. <clears throat> there is actually something you can do for me, young man. What it's going to cost you now. <laughs> you know, Watson, have this man assist you with the investigation. I'm going to go get filled in by justice. I'm good company. <coughs> Are you sure that's a good idea, sir? <laughs> I have a good feeling, my dear boy. Please have you, baby. Please have you, baby. Do not worry. I am here to set you free. But there's one last thing that I need from thee. I see. So I need to get to the box. How heavy indeed. How did you get yourself in this mess? I thought you were one of the best. Oh, uh, look! These devices you make aren't always accurate. Well, are you saying that I made a mistake? I cannot give you another break. Look, I messed up, okay? I'll fix this. Mm. But how did the time traveling agency find me, huh? Well, you see, when you were traveling, you left a hole that they were able to track. And we must hurry now, before they further the crack. Listen, this is not my fault. Well, we need to finish the job before it's too late. Meanwhile, I have a meeting with Faith. No, wait, no, I need your help! Are you justice? Justice has many ways of showing his face. <laughs> I need to find justice. I'm gonna die. You look fine to me. What, what happened? What, what's going on? Okay? I don't know what happened. I, this stupid thing, it just doesn't work. Oh my god, that's a time traveling device. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. No. Give it to me. I don't no. have any wire these things. No, 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 no. Get them to work right. No. told me if I put both hands to midnight, I will go to the place I need to go to save myself. I don't know what that means, but oh, huh, this is interesting. There is something that I must see before Father Time gets the best of me. Oh, oh man. Oh. What's your name, person? Birch. Birch? Noah Birch. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Why did Father Time send you here, huh? I don't know. I, that's what I'm trying to find out. I'm trying to find out why he sent me here. I have no idea. I'm here. I'm just standing here. I'm here. I'm here. Except for this thing. Oh my God! Shush up. Can you just give it to me? Oh God. I don't have a case. Do it, do it. 
Let's do it. And I don't know, take us back ten minutes, right? <sighs> Hold on. I don't do this thing, it's just
Transitioner. How? I don't know. Something <coughs> missing. Maybe she's working with someone else. Right, right, right. And they put her up to this. But who? She's too young to do this. I don't know. I mean, that kid's pretty smart. She seems to know a heck of a lot. How does she do it? Maybe she's working with someone else. Yeah. You know what? I still haven't been able to locate the origin of her implant. Okay, so let's put this together. Okay. So she keeps stealing stuff from different time periods. So she must have a hidden intention for these items. That's true. But if you don't find out, more people from the past are going to start showing up. Hmm. I need to go look for her. What did Father Tom say? He said the musician's name is Apollo. Uh, <clears throat> Carmen, I forgot to tell you, um, earlier I found three people from different time periods just wandering the streets. Mm -hmm. One of them was a uh, musician. Is your name Apollo? Yeah, but you totally, like, I was brought here. I did well, not do anything. Well, don't confuse, all right? We know who brought you here. Yeah, the criminal, Cosmo. You were the only one here when she left. Where'd she go? She said she had some stuff she had to do. Didn't, didn't she say anything else? Not, not, not really. No. I've got to go and find her. Okay. I'm going to question our little musician here. Hmm. Why don't we just put them under? It'll save time. No, 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 no. Sometimes your way is better, but today we're doing it my way. All right. Well, I'm gonna go and track her in the I'm gonna keep working on my next kid song. Where is she? Where is she? Come on. We need assistance. Please help us. What happened? What's going on? A man has been found dead outside with no witnesses nearby. Okay. All right. Well, this one's staying here then. No, no, not you. No. Sir, I think you should stay here and oversee him. Nonsense. Me, Mr. Watson, and I. Nonsense. I am a time travel enforcement agency. Okay. Damn it, it's what I do. What about them? They're not doing anything, just staring about. No. Perhaps they can help us. Should she? Why, I never noticed them until now. That's a mighty fine eye you have there, Watson. Splendid clue. Yes. They could be of great help. They can. They can. So what do you say, ladies and gentlemen? Will you join Watson and I on this hunt? No justice? I didn't have a choice either after the war, folks. Just go with it. Please. <laughs> oh, Kings is an awful mess. An awful mess. I gotta fix this and I gotta fix it fast. Now, you folks, who's gonna help me? I'm blessed to have your help. Thank you so much. Right now, tables four and three. That's four and three. To go with the detectives to help solve this mystery. Will you stop doing that? Dude, that's Jesus. Awesome. Let me do that again. Oh my god. Okay. Well, will you join us? Tables four, three, let's go. Come on, come on. And if you have any problems with fog or lights or short lights, please let us know. You can stay here, okay? Rest of you guys and just chill and wait till these two wannabe detectives take them through and we'll see what happens. Hey, I heard that. Hey, hey, let's walk in, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so, everyone else who's here, make sure you fill out those things and bring it to 
collect these after intermission. <laughs> all right, all right. That's enough playtime, young lady. <coughs> You're not doing this right. I've been watching you. Leave me alone. Hey, stop right there. Don't you move now. Hey! I've rubbed out bigger people than you. <laughs> now you listen here. Like I said, I've been watching you. I've seen what you've been doing. I yes, girl, I know what I'm doing. Oh, you do. Taking things what don't belong to you? belong to anybody alive, right? So, they don't need them anymore, at least. Right? That's where <laughs> I come in. I'm here to fix the mess that you made. No! No, what the... So what? If there's a blip in time, now and then, right? Your father time long ago. You can fix this, right? Oh, there you go! I got you now, no! Traveler. Not again! Are you kidding me? I'll do our jobs better when I place you under arrest. You know what you're getting into, do you? Kick into the agents. No, you can't be serious. If you put me away, no! You're, you're helping them make it worse. Oh, my dear, my dear, my dear. I'm afraid that things has already gone badly for you. That's right. We found a man dead by the name of Noah Birch, and you're our prime suspect. Hey, this is ridiculous. You, 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 you have the wrong person. No. What? No. Blame. Don't blame anybody else. It, it was you. Something does not seem right here. It was you. <laughs> Wasn't it? <laughs> Up to you and me to make a stand. 
I'm with you, man. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, I agree. I agree. Now, can you let me out of here? Okay. Please? What? 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 Well, well, well. What do we have here? Wait a minute. Paul's helping Cosmo escape. Wait a minute. Who the hell is this guy? Do you not know who I am? I am Eclipse. No, buddy. Doesn't ring a bell. The greatest poet of our time. Yeah, the only poet of our time. What is someone from the Mafia doing here? Mafia? Father time, common room. Oh, father. Well, like a godfather or something. I thought he was like a god or something. Wait, wait, you mean this dude's a gangster? He's like 200 years old. 250, if you please. And not now, not in this time. That is all behind me, but the identity stuck. What did you do with Pandora's box? We told you, we needed to maintain the time rift. Return all your stolen items, or we're all gonna die. Whoa. I think I, think I gotta go, you guys. Not so fast, Buster. Hold it, right there. <laughs> What's in the box, Father? Are you going to show us? We don't have time for this. I have an idea. It isn't in there. How dare you freeze! <laughs> Wait. There, there was something in there, wasn't there? Yeah. What's in there, Pops? Go on, Father. Tell them. Pops! <laughs> I tell you what was in there. It was an article written by Noah Birch about this musician here, Apollo, who sold out a whole arena and then what never showed up. That, that never happened? Yes, yes. And we found out that article that Noah wrote about poor Apollo and art in general was so biased and hateful. You were never able to continue as a musician after that. From that time forward, Art and music was never looked at again with no appreciation. How, how, can, how can someone do something? Well, do you mean not go to a sold out arena? That never happened. Or maybe it did. Because of you? Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, God. I got it! This man! Apollo is the killer! He didn't take revenge on the right to know of Birch. And he was the only man with Cosmo in the agency. <coughs> Sherlock, you have new evidence. Yeah, dude. As do we. You see, the victim, Noah Birch, was brought here by someone other than Cosmo! We don't have time for this! Yeah. I'm gonna make a distraction. See, see, when we were first brought here, he was the first man I set my eyes upon. I knew he was a killer right then there. Me too, sir. He has a killer's glance. Yes, he does. Wasn't it you two's that found the dead body? Yes. yes. And then came in here and told us yes. that there was a dead body? Yes. I say it was these guys who killed him. Hey, this is not necessary. You know, here's what you should do. You should all go back to where you came from your own time. I will fix this. Wait, 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 wait. I, I know what's coming for me. And I say that no, that no Birch dude got what he deserved. Well, and things should just stay the way they are now. Hey, what happens to them, you know, when they all go back to their times and start living their lives? Well, they all lose memory of everything that happened here. What? What's he? Sorry. Yeah, that's... Cool! So, nobody will remember any of this. What did she say? No, no, no! Oh, Okay, wait. Ha, <laughs> ha,
The amazing Houdini's final magic show. Did, did he say final <laughs> magic show? <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Harry Houdini. Now, many people have asked how it was that I got involved in magic in the first place and how I discovered my ability to escape. Well, you see, when I was a young child, I found these in my parents' bedroom. <laughs> and I discovered that my dad was an escape artist. At least that's what my mom told me when I asked her what these were for. <laughs> so, uh, let's see here. Uh, sir. Yes, the one, the angry looking man. <laughs> How are you? Good. What's your name? Tim. Tim. Tim, I'm going to ask you to examine these shackles really quick. And in a minute, you are going to lock me up as tight as you possibly can. Now, ma'am, this is the only key that works to my escape. Now, Bess and I used to have a thing where she would put the key in her mouth, and then I would give her a kiss before I did my escape, and she would exchange the key. So, Bess is not present. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't think she wants to do that. Tim, join me up on stage. Now, Tim, what we're going to do is I'm going to have you lock me up in these shackles just like so. Put it right around the wrist, go right just like that, close it up on the link, and lock it. Yes, you can pull the hair too, that's fine. Wow. Tim, do you know there's no gum chewing allowed in this audience? I don't know. That. Yeah, right here. <laughs> that was incredibly gross, Tim. I cannot believe you just did that. I don't. Oh. Good lord. I think that might have been grosser. Tim, you don't have any colds or anything like that? No. Anything I should be concerned with? Oh, oh wonderful. Okay, take that right over there, Tim. We're going to go right around the back. Okay. My wife can't either. And you get to kiss me. All right, Tim. Check out the locks, the shackles. Make sure everything is locked nice and tight. Yeah. Everything tight? Perfect. Okay, thank you very much, Tim. <laughs> you may have a seat, Tim. Yes. Now, I am going to attempt to escape from these shackles that Tim has locked me up. But before I do, let me come right over here. I understand there's a birthday going on back here. Yeah, oh, two. <laughs> What's your name? Both of you. Both of you. Oh, good. I've always wanted two women. <laughs> what I'd like you to do is check everything out. Well, not everything. <laughs> just, just the shackles, of course. Check the locks. Check the bars. Go ahead, pull on them. Make sure they are locked. Pull the bars, the chain, everything looks... Oh, that's great. Wow. wow. How does everything look? Tight. Good? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay, now I need everyone to do me a favor. On the count of three, I want you to count really loud. Count to three, on the count of three, and I will escape from these shackles that they was locked of thee. Ooh, wait, the cliff has run off on me. Okay, count! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm already out. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Now, if you're wondering how I did this, I will give you a clue. While I was up on stage and I asked you to count to three, this young lady ran up on stage, gave her a kiss. <laughs> I then proceeded to take the lock and unlock it with the key. I'm talking in rhymes. I don't understand. Okay. Now, many of you may not be aware of this, but I was not only a famous escape artist, but I was also recognized as the king of cards. So, I am going to demonstrate my card ability right now. Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, sir, the one in the back, standing up, smiling. Sorry, <laughs> the one looking behind. Yes, you. <laughs> you were standing up, but I was a little further than you in the future, and I got confused. What's your name? Paul. Paul? Yes, sir. I should have known that, Paul. Paul, are you married? Yes. Is that your lovely wife, Nancy? Sure. Yeah. Oh, woo! Oh, that would have been embarrassing. Thank you. All right. Paul, if you would, would you just come right over into the center of the audience right over there? And uh, let's see. Um, uh, Ma'am, the one in the blue, put in the chapstick on her. Would you mind uh, standing up and joining Paul? Bring your chapstick, because my lips are feeling a little... <laughs> They were dry, weren't they? <laughs> What's your name? Aaron. Huh? Aaron. Aaron. Yes. Aaron, do you know Paul? No, we do. Paul, do you know Aaron? No, we do. Introduce yourself. Hi, Aaron. <laughs> Three point. Yes. Aaron, are you married? Yes. You are. Paul, are you married? Yes. Yes, we established that. Right. Aaron, is your husband in the audience? No. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> These are your co-workers. Yes. Very cool. Uh, would you say that Aaron has a very good imagination? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Uh, Paul, yes. we are going to do a card trick. This is the deck right here. It's an invisible deck of cards, Paul. That means you can't see it. However, I'm going to toss this deck to you, Paul, and I'd like you to catch it. That's great. Aaron, right by his foot. Could you pick it up? And hand it to him. That's great. Paul, take the cards out of the box. I did not throw all 52 cards at you just like that. Take them out of the box. Good. Fan through those cards. Make sure they're not marked in any way. Are they marked, Paul? They're not. That's great, because they're invisible. <laughs> now, in just one second, I'm going to turn around, and when I do, Paul, you are going to fan out the deck. Aaron, you are going to select a card from that deck, take the card, show it to everybody in the audience, then take the card, memorize the card, put a face up on the deck, and Paul, you're going to shove the cards, put them back in the box. Now, I'm going to turn around so I can't see. Go. <laughs> Aaron, did you memorize the card? Yes. You did? Yes. Is it face up on the deck? Yes. Paul? Yes. Did you shuffle the card? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let me see you shuffle, Paul. That is scary, Paul. <laughs> I can ask you how you learned to shuffle the <laughs> card. Put it back in the box, Paul. And throw the deck to me. Oh, a nice soft toss. I like it. This is the deck of cards we were using because I, <laughs> Harry Houdini, am playing with a full deck of cards. <laughs> now, Aaron, we have never met before, have we? No. We have not discussed this trick in advance? No. Nor in the future? No. Okay. I don't know. Oh. Aaron, believe it or not, I traveled into the future. I saw the card that you picked. I took that card. I turned it face over in this deck. So for the very first time, let's prove this to the audience. What card did you turn over? King of Hearts. The Ace of Hearts. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Was it the Ace of Hearts? No. No. Aaron, we traveled into the future. I saw into the future. You took a card and turned it over. I saw what the card was. It was what? The King of Hearts. You're not working with me. <laughs> 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 
Oh, Aaron, <laughs> would you be absolutely amazed if the King of Hearts was the only card turned over in this deck? I would. <laughs> I would be too. <laughs> <laughs> You will notice that all the cards are face up, which makes my job incredibly easy. But Aaron, if you should see one card turn over, you say, stop. Do you see a card? One card, one card. Whoop! Come closer. A little closer. <laughs> during intermission who you thought the murderer was. Is there anyone here that thought it was me? Ha! You're all wrong! <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. No. You were right. I am not the murderer, but I do hold the key to who the murderer is. And may I please have the curtain? Now, while everybody is scrambling about, I quickly use one of my devices <laughs> Where did it go? <laughs> Oops. Oh my goodness, the stagehands do not know how to cue this up. Joshua! <laughs> Kurt, please! <laughs> with Pandora's box. But believe it or not, this is Pandora's box, and it holds the key to who the murderer was. Now, inside my box is the murderer. Do you recognize him? Oh, darn! I think we, uh, we forgot to put the murderer in the box. <laughs> I mean, Josh, the, oh darn it, I'll take care of it. Right now, Hocus Pocus, oh. the murderer. Oh. Oh. And now, all of you can see what time has done to me. I have brought all of thee to be a part of this story. But first, you must understand why justice deserves an end. They oppress the imagination and enforce laws of no relation. It was then I found out about a man who would fit just into my plan. From then on, I knew it was destiny until time got the best of me. There you are. You're under arrest, please. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 